You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, it's been a good long while since we've had any kind of an update related to the three Chiefs fans that were found frozen in Jordan Willis's backyard after a Kansas City Chiefs watch party. It's been eerily and strangely quiet for about a month. About a month. Uh, and there was a lot of updates that came out all in about a two-week period. It was very furious. Well, now we've got, we finally have an update, at least from one of the victim's fathers. And he makes his intentions pretty clear in a People interview that just came out uh, about the fact that uh, his son, David Harrington, well, his, his father, John, wants somebody held responsible for the death of his son. Now, we still don't know exactly what happens. We uh, happened in this. We know there was a toxicology report. Some have said that that has made things even more confusing because it's like not a detailed version of a of the toxicology. It was like a preliminary, and uh, of the police have not charged Jordan Willis or anybody else in foul play. I continue to say the the fifth member of this friend group who left, I still think, I don't know if I want to call him a smoking gun in this, but I still think there's going to be some kind of revelation around that guy in some way, uh, either with he just knows more than he's letting on, or maybe he's already told it and we don't know it. But uh, let's get to David Harrington's father. Uh, as you can imagine, the family members are pissed. Yeah, I mean, what is... A totally benign uh, kind of event. I think we've all done watch parties uh, either on YouTube or we've done watch parties where, you know, it's UFC or WWE pay-per-views or or a big NFL game. And the idea that you would not make it home alive in, under search, certain strange circumstances, it just doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. Uh, I still think fentanyl is a big part of this. Uh, but the hows and the whys of how it was consumed, I don't think anybody knows. As families continue to wait for answers after three Kansas City Chiefs fans were mysteriously found dead in their friend's backyard, in January, one father says they're already planning to take legal action. John Harrington's son, David Harrington, and friends Clayton McGinney and Ricky Johnson visited Jordan Wells' home on January 7th to watch the Chiefs play against the Chargers. Now, some have said he's went into rehab. I've read some things where, well, maybe he hasn't went into rehab. Um, he did move out of that house. I think he put things in storage. A lot of mystery around Jordan Willis and what exactly he does or didn't do for a living. The three men were found dead outside their friend's house two days later. Harrington says his done death, son's death was a big surprise. I'm sure. I can't imagine. He loved life, Harrington said of his son. I am incredibly sure that the outcome of this was not intended. Har Harrington says KC police read him the results of a toxicology report the saying cocaine and fentanyl were found in his son's body. Harrington doesn't argue with the test results, but he wants to know how the drugs got into his son's system. Because he doesn't believe his son knowingly or willingly took the drugs. Now, I believe it was Harrington's girlfriend that also spoke out and said he was not a drug user. All right. So we don't know. But when guys get together, they decide maybe to have more than just some light beers. I don't know. I'm quote, I'm not buying it, says Harrington 57 who lives in Dearborn, Missouri, north of Kansas City. To date, there have been no arrests or charges, and the KC Police Department said there is, quote, no foul play has been observed or suspected. Yeah, but a lawyer came out and said he was not happy that the police even gave a report that early. And they think it was premature. 
The Kansas City Police Department Public Information Officers, Elena Gonzalez, tells people there have not been any additional updates released to the public. Okay. Detectives remain in contact with Platte County prosecutors and the victim's families as the death investigation continues. They're still investigating this. That's what's also strange. If there's nothing foul that happened here, why are we... That happened January 7th, if I remember correctly. So it's been two months and a week. And the death investigation continues. That's odd. Prosecutors and the victim's family, as the uh, death investigation continues, Gonzalez says, noting the case remains a death investigation. John Passerno, who represents Willis, previously told People in a statement that his client, quote, was unaware of how his friends died, anxiously awaiting the results of autopsy and toxicology reports. We got that, or at least preliminary. Harrington last spoke to his son on K Christmas Day. They had a long conversation, made plans to go out to dinner together in mid-January. Quote, he's a lot like me. When I would meet with his friends, they'd say to me, you look like David. I'd reply, no, David looks like me. I was here first. He remembers his son as a stellar salesman who loved the Texas Longhorns and the Chiefs. He was physically strong, too. I'm not a little man by any means. And David used to pick me up and tore me around like a sack of potatoes, his father says. On Sunday, January 21, when the Chiefs, who went, to the, went on to win the Super Bowl, played the Buffalo Bills, a celebration of life was set held for David. Quote, I couldn't imagine a better day to send him off than that. There's parts of that day that I will remember till I die. The Chiefs game went on at the memorial when the Chiefs scored at one point. The entire crowd started chan chanting David's name. Harrington said that spelled sincerity to me. Despite talking with detectives and attending the meeting of victims' families with the Pla Platte County prosecutor, Harrington says he still does not know what happened to his son and that the toxicology report only raised more questions. I believe he intended to get drunk, he says, and particularly at his age, I couldn't blame him. I couldn't stop him. There's none of that but the drugs. I'm not buying that. I'm not arguing that that was what was found in his system, but it's how it got into his system we still don't know. As they wait for answers, the Harringtons have launched a t-shirt campaign selling t-shirts to keep the men's names in, the fam in people's minds and their memories alive. Someday, Harrington said he would take legal action of his own. There will be a wrongful death lawsuit, and a private investigator will be more than likely part of that. In the meantime, him and his family will wait until the criminal investigation is complete. They can't step on evidence or take evidence away from criminal investigation at this point. I really don't know what to expect. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, it's understandable that the family wants somebody to be responsible because there's a lot of anger there. Now, I can tell you this, you know, I just said it's pretty normal for people to get together and have these kind of watch parties. But I will tell you this, when we used to get together and do it, they'd be as many as 20 people involved in one, maybe at, at somebody's house. And I can tell you this, my parents would have had no knowledge, this would have been back when I was in my 20s, and maybe even early 30s, they would have no knowledge of the things I was doing at these, at these watch parties. You know, I can tell you a lot of alcohol was involved, and that was about the extent of it. And I was a cigarette smoker back then. But other than that, I mean, I'm not giving my parents a play-by-play -play of what's going on. I can assure you of that. So, you know, I think there's a lot of things that people get into that their parents have no idea, obviously, right? They're grown parents after they're grown adults. So I don't know what to believe. Again, that's the way it's been this whole time. I don't think anybody knows what to believe. Um, the fentanyl thing, I think that is of real note. And that's a real substance in all this. How did the fentanyl get involved? 
You know, I think maybe they thought they were going to do something else, and maybe they did, but fentanyl was in that. And maybe that's the part that the Kansas City police is still looking into. Where did that come from? Who, who put the fentanyl in whatever they were doing? And then where was that fentanyl? Where is the, the track for that fentanyl, and where did it come from? I, that's my only guess. Other than that, I'm not sure what they're, what they're waiting on. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.